how far do you think we are from a cashless society? I'm talking about no cash whatsoever, no coins, no bills, no nothing. How close do you think we are? Five, 10 years, two years, how long? I personally think less than two years. And the reason why I say less than two years is because of a couple of factors. Think about how much money it costs to print the money, to protect that printed money, to transport this printed money, to be able to, and then the coins, the coins itself. Think about coins. Coins, the fact that the coins take a certain amount of resources to even make because they're metals. Um, I, when I think about something of that nature, then I think about the two deciding factors, which would be inflation, the debt, the fact that we owe a lot of money out here. So when you think about resources, I just feel like one, like, I feel like it's so close. I feel like it's less than two years. The president is going to come on and saying that they signed a bill and passed a bill to be able to outlaw cash, outlaw coins. And it'd be no longer made here in the United States as of this date. And the reason why is because, like I said, inflation is a thing. It, the rising cost. Well, we can cut down on inflation if we can cut off the resources it takes to protect the money, house the money, to be able to print the money, all of these, transport the money, all these things are resources. We could free all that up right now. Then we could save X amount of dollars right now instantly. And that would bring down our inflation down to a certain point. I feel like that could be a thing because you got to understand there's, there's a breaking point out here. There's a point where there's only so far you can push a person into debt. There's only so far you can push a person and say, this is the cost of living. Sorry, deal with it. There's only so far you can push somebody till they start to reach a breaking point. You don't want people as a nation to reach a breaking point. Poor people, middle class people, we all are all in the same exact boat. We're all out here doing the same exact thing. One thing that I know for facts is since we're all in the same boat and all of the higher class is outweighed by all of the same people that they are putting impoverished, I feel like they don't want to push that boundary. You don't want to push that boundary out to that certain point where you now have to deal with the poor people and the middle class people coming to your house or storming the streets or rioting or anything of this nature. So we've got to release some pressure because too much pressure breaks pipes, as you would know, right? So the fact that we need to release some pressure, the easiest pressure to release right now is inflation. Reducing the cost of living will help a lot of people out right now. Eggs are, eggs are more expensive. Food is more expensive. Housing is more expensive. But your paycheck isn't getting any more dollars in it. And even if it was, that is more expensive. A company would rather fire you and hire someone for cheaper. It's a fact. We all know this. Sometimes we get these pressure built up to a certain point of breaking and when they don't release that pressure it breaks and the society starts to crumble in on itself and things start going down and the news is on the news talking about whatever so that's why I know for a fact we need something to release this pent up pressure otherwise it's going to get really really bad out here now other people know this for facts, and I know that that has to be the answer. That has got to be the answer. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're going to switch from cash to like crypto transactions instantly. I don't think that's going to be a thing like right away. I, I would say that would be more like five, six, seven years away from being installed. But the digital part, only being able to use your card or the back of your phone or something of that nature, will be a thing. Because if you go to Walmart right now. Walmart has two things set up. So we have these people that will say, hey, cash your card. 
then they tell you what register to go to. The register is the way they're, they're set up right now is it could easily be a bunch of self-checkout stations. Easily. And the fact that the employees are just getting worse and worse and worse at their job is just insane. It's actually hilarious because they are what's, they are what's ushering in this self-out check, checkout process. They're what's ushering in the cashless society because now they'll say cash or card. And if you have card, they're like, oh, card, 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 cash. Okay, hold on. You got to wait for uh, register five to open up. Hold on. Oh, register five and, only, and seven are the only ones that are taking cash right now. So they're reducing the amount of cash that are in their, they're intaking. And they're doing this for a reason. It's coming faster than you think. Cash will no longer be a thing. You'll have to be doing your card or your some, some form of digital payment. It's happened. If I asked anybody on the street, they'd probably be like, well, probably by five, 10 years, maybe. They're living in, in early 2000s, bro. We are gonna see this happen so quickly. And all the systems are already in place to accept only, only card right away. Now, crypto transactions, I would say that would probably be another five, maybe 10 years. Just because there's not enough regulation in crypto just yet. They are starting to tighten down on, on regulating it and stuff because there's a lot of fraud. There's a lot of people out here scamming people. There's a lot of this stuff going on and, and there's enough of those people complaining about them getting scammed and the government not doing anything about it and the government's like, well, it's crypto. They're, they're tired of that, well, it's crypto moments. So they're gonna have to just do it and they're, they're gonna have to build up and they're gonna have to do something about it, right? We all know that, that, that that's coming. We've already got some form of regulation on it. But right now, if you go in and rip people off for money, straight out of their checking account, you're going to jail, you're going to prison, they can find you right away. But if I scammed you on some crypto thing, made you send me some crypto on a, on a wallet, there's nothing they can do about that just yet. Now, there are certain instances where they are starting to get and cut down on some of these things, but when it gets to a certain level, it's almost like out of their hands. Crypto isn't regulated yet. So once it's fully regulated, then yes, I would say that it could be easily installed as well. But card transactions are fully everywhere and it would upset quite a few people around here, older people mainly, that use cash only, use quarters and dimes, nickels, all this stuff. They're saving all their money for whatever. Those type of people right there are the ones that are going to hurt the worst. And it reminds me of whenever they uh Early 2000s, they were like, hey, we're not going to be servicing any of these bunny ears no more. You're going to have to buy this little box for you to get these digital channels. We won't use your, your bunny ears. They're going to go gray at this, at this moment. So they had to go run to their local Walmart and buy that little thing. But there's someone else out there that was like, I'm going to use the bunny ears until it doesn't work no more. Then when it stopped working, he had to complain about the thing. But now they have internet, so you can complain about it to other people, and other people will hear you. During that time, we had internet, but no one was really on like that, talking about it and caring about it enough. There wasn't real big social media back then. There was social media, but it was a different form of social media than it is today. So now, when the cashless society is here, you're gonna have older people, mainly, they're going to come up and say, hey, man, all my money's not worth anything. I can't do anything with it. I don't want to move to, you're only using my card. I don't trust it. I want to use cash. And they're going to look crazy. They're going to look crazy for that exact reason. There's more people. If you Google it, there's, I think they said, there's like either 60 or 80% was using card already. The major majority is already using card already. I know that for a fact. I can't remember if it said 60 or if it said 80% of transactions last year were, uh, were cashless transactions. I'm not really sure. But let's just say it is 60. That's already the majority vote right there. So if we put a vote to it and say, hey, who wants to still use cash? Who wants to use card only? Which one would you rather? We still have the major majority of people who already use card already. The only difference is What's keeping it from going fully in like that and they don't want to put a vote to it 
is the regulation behind it. So now you can't hide your money through taxes. If I give you $20 in cash, no one knows it happened. But if I give you $20 through Venmo, Cash App, or, or Zelle, everybody knows it happened and they'll tax you for these things. So it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. That's, that's the only thing I would say is that's kind of like what's keeping it from fully going in. But you already know, they're already using AI for IRS. AI is already here using it for IRS right now. They don't need these people to be investigating cases no longer. They can backdate everything now. They can backdate everything now. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's on its way, bro. It is on its way. So what are you doing to be prepared for this cashless transactions that are coming right now? Less than two years is what I give it. I'm not sure exactly how long it would be, but I'm going to say less than two years. We will be in a completely cashless society to where it'd be no cash, no coins. It'd be a thing of the past. What do you think? Yeah, drop them comments, baby. Drop them comments. Yeah, sorry today was a little bit more of a scatterbrain, scatter, scatterbrain thought process because, man, I have my allergies are kind of killing me right now. I'm just I'm kind of like doing the motions. Um, allergies be getting me, so sometimes it's it's kind of hard to like focus when I'm like on the verge of sneezing and the, all the my mind is just everywhere right now. Okay, but check back for tomorrow's message. Okay, leave a comment down below, and I will go ahead and respond to your comments through one of my videos. I'll never respond through the comment section. I might like your comment, but I will never respond because I already know people that are like, "Hey, hit me up on Telegram," and yada yada yada. That's not me. I don't want you guys to get, you know, done in by somebody in the in the comment section. Anyone who's a true OG is going to know that I don't respond to you in the comment section. And whoever's talking down there is a bunch of, bunch of crazy people, okay? So I'm going to respond to you properly inside the video, okay? Anytime I have a comment on my last video, I'll respond with the next video, okay? And, and if you don't see one in this video, which I'm sure you don't, Hey, it's because we're still brand new, baby. You're still early. All right. Anyways, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, peace.